Hello everyone, it is Lauren. Welcome back to Take Action Tuesday. Today we are going to talk about this idea of creating an AAC inclusive environment and how we can do that and what benefits it does have. So let's dive in. All right, so like I mentioned in the intro, we are going to talk about this idea of AAC inclusion on this broad societal level. Um, but we can also apply this all to the classroom, to your home, to your therapy rooms. So when I'm talking about AAC inclusion, for me, what this means is that AAC is accessible in different environments and not just their personal AAC device is accessible in different environments, but AAC in general is seen across these different environments. So if you've ever walked into a therapy room that has a core board up, that's that idea of AAC inclusion. And there are some really strong benefits to this. One, it supports those that benefit from AAC. If you have an individual that would benefit from AAC support and communication support, that support becomes accessible. It's there. It didn't, we didn't have to buy it. We didn't have to purchase it. It was already there and present in the environment that they went to. The next component here is that it really supports this visibility of AAC. It makes AAC naturally, it's there, people see it, people understand what it is, people become um, supportive of it and inclusive of it and accepting of it. And we know that historically, when more places have something and you can see that something there, it tends to be more accepted. Um, and I'm going to give you this example that may or may not apply to you or resonate with you, but um, I kind of think back to when I was younger and in grade school and I needed glasses. And I was one of the only kids in the class that actually had glasses. Um, my fortunate husband grew up with glasses. So not everybody had glasses. So we weren't like jumping up and down to show our glasses to everybody. And we weren't like really excited about it. We were often kind of like putting them on in the corner or hiding them in our backpack. Um, because we were the only ones with them. And when you're the only ones with something, you're not always excited about that. And I really do feel like times are changing and I think society has become much more accepting of a lot of different things these days. Um, but this idea still applies. If I'm not around anyone using AAC or I don't see anyone else using AAC, why would I want to use it? unless I'm already really confident and comfortable with it. So when they are the only ones, our AAC users are the only ones that have access to it, they have a harder time understanding and accepting and using it. And a lot of that has to do with the way and the ability to access AAC throughout the day, throughout different environments. I also think this plays a huge piece into families and team members getting on board with the use of AAC. Um, even therapists, speech therapists, getting on board with the use of AAC. Um, I often hear things like, oh, well, so-and-so didn't have any words, but he's fine now. Three years later, he can talk. Great. So we don't need this AAC device. It's just going to happen. And although that may be true, why wouldn't we provide the supports and that help now to really tap into who this individual is and get a better understanding of who they are and give them access to communication and them access to interacting with the world. So I wanted to share um, this testimonial with you. So part of my business is actually creating these communication boards for different organizations. I have a few that I've worked with um, in the area and I get really excited when I hear feedback from them. One. Um, one piece of feedback I got was that at the Akron Zoo, which is one of the places that I have a communication board, they um, got a message from a parent that said their son asked to ride the carousel twice while they were at the zoo, and he would have had no other way to do that without the communication board present. So it was really, this really exciting feel-good story. Um, 
one of the other places that I work with is the Akron Children's Museum. And I just want to read this for you because I think it so accurately depicts that idea that I'm really trying to express here. So they said, the addition of augmentative and alternative communication boards to our arsenal of accessibility tools has ha had a remarkable impact. Feedback from both visitors and their families has been overwhelmingly positive. Our uniquely designed boards ensure that every child can actively participate in various activities, engage with others confidently while visiting our museum. This service has enriched, enriched our interactions, empowered our visitors, and reinforced our commitment to accessibility and inclusivity. I just love that. Everything about that makes me feel good because these kids are being represented. These kids that have difficulty with communication, oftentimes it's hidden. Um, and by providing a support like this and providing inclusion like this, it really supports that kid and it allows them to be seen and it allows them to have an opportunity to communicate with the world around them. Another classic example of this is the playground boards. Um, I know in our area we have several of them and I see more pop up by the day, I feel like, and that is so helpful. Not only are they helping kids to communicate, but they're also helping raise awareness for AAC devices. And I really feel that once these become something that people know and people see, a lot of that frustration that our field has, and even families have, with it being accepted will start to dissipate. So with all of that, I would really love for you to take some time and think about how you can make AEC more present in your school or community. Where can you advocate for support to get support from others? Where can you include it? Even if it's just posting a light tech board in the bathroom or putting a playground board on your playground, it doesn't have to be grand, but how can we start to incorporate more AEC so that our AEC users can AAC from someone other than the speech therapist during their sessions. So I really do think that this idea is going to make a huge difference and really support long-term change with AAC acceptance. So I hope that you can think of a few nice places and I will see you next week.